Let's move on now to Leslie Jordan. Oh. I think that we are all still processing his passing yesterday. Yeah, I, I I will always remember Leslie Jordan. He was in one of the first commercials that I ever did. Really? He's so brilliant. I followed him uh, for so many years yeah. and loved him. All of our hearts are broken. Yeah, and he was so much fun when he oh. hit our set. It's been yeah. a collective outpouring of shock and sadness from his Hollywood friends and fans, and now we're learning new details about his tragic death. Traffic, the building stopped him. He was alive. Yeah. Somebody said, are you still alive? I told him, I think he responded with a yes. Was he under some kind of medical? No, that's all I can say. Thank you. Leslie's assistant wouldn't elaborate yesterday on the apparent medical issue that caused the 67-year-old to collide with a curb and tree before crashing into this building. The LAFD tells ET when they found the actor, he was pulseless, not breathing, and they tried for more than 40 minutes to resuscitate him. While the coroner will determine a cause of death, the actor has been candid about his past sobriety struggles. But I went to jail five times. I had also had a little crystal meth problem, but we won't go into that. If you can picture a brother boy on crystal, it's got to stop. I am really sorry. Wait, I need to show you something. <laughs> this week, Leslie was slated to film his ninth episode of Fox's Call Me Cat. E.T.'s learned Thursday night's broadcast will now include an in-memoriam dedication. Co-star Mayim Bialik posted, we will be taking time to grieve while production is on pause. Trumpets of the Lord shall sound and time shall be no more. In the social media sensation's last post, less than 24 hours before the accident, Leslie eerily sang a hymn about entering heaven. I'll be there. People started tuning in, and we decided to make an album. Just two weeks ago, in his last major interview, the Emmy winner spoke about becoming a country star after achieving insta-fandom during the pandemic. I don't know what happened. People have said to me, what's the secret? I have no idea. I'm just, I'm still in shock. I'm absolutely in shock and disbelief that my little buddy's gone. Former The Cool Kids co-star Vicki Lawrence revealed to me exclusively she pushed Leslie on his journey to become a viral hit back in 2018. I helped him get started on Instagram. He had no idea what he was doing. I didn't have a whole lot more, <laughs> but I helped him get started. What y'all did? What would I have to do? <laughs> well, you know. Um... Man, woman stuff. He would tell us the greatest stories about his former life. Yeah. <laughs> Drugs and alcohol and oh my God, they were his. And you look at him and you go, how is that even possible that that was you? He was the youngest of us cool kids. Like the last one you would expect. And just such a bundle of joy. I will miss him. Leslie made millions of people happy. And at the end of the day, that is the biggest legacy that one can leave. So God bless you, Leslie, and thank you.